Well, back to one of our top stories today, and that's Egypt. We have a report now on life in the protest camp outside the Rabah Mosque, where supporters of the ousted President Mohamed Mursi say they'll stay until their demands are met. Mariam Ishani reports. Barricades and checkpoints control the entrance to Rabah al adawiya the area around a mosque where supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi have taken up residence since the end of June. Here, they have been beyond the control of authorities. The police are now threatening to dismantle the sit-in, a threat that these pro-Morsi activists reject. We insist on staying in our place here for our freedom, to condemn the military coup, to protest against the dictatorial regime. During the day, some sell signs bearing the image of the fallen president. Others look for ways to stay cool in the Cairo summer heat. By late afternoon, before breaking their Ramadan fast, cooks busy themselves with preparing to feed the troops. There is rice every day, meat or chicken. We can stay another year. It's not a problem for us. But their presence does not build them favor with nearby residents, many of whom deplore the nuisances caused by the sit-in. They do not clean up behind themselves. They do their business in the entrances of buildings, garages, gardens and around the camp. The situation is very bad and irritates people. Memories are still fresh with the recent violence that led to the death of 82 people. They are determined to stay until the end. At night, the faithful galvanized by prayer are on their guard.